I just got in my car and left the training ground. Uh, deadline was over five o'clock here, you know. And the chairman rang up and said, look, um, Celtic have been in for Robbie. He's keen to go. He really would like to go. Um, what do you think? I said, well, you know, it's, it's difficult for him at the moment. He's not playing regularly. You know, he's a lad who just wants to play football all the time. He's not happy when he's not in the team. Um, he's been on the bench the last you know, few games for me and Crouchy and, and Defoe have been in good form so I said yeah okay fine you know, to the end of the season it was only to the end of the season so it wasn't a problem I've got Pavlachenko hopefully getting fit uh, and Ida Good Johnson as well and um, it, as I say Robbie's a one off he's not one of those boys who's happy to sit around here taking his money without playing he wants to play I could see yesterday morning training he wasn't uh, he worked hard as he always does, but you know there was a bit of a Mr. Angry to him yesterday morning. I think you know he gets frustrated when he doesn't play. He loves playing football. He's got that great enthusiasm for the game. So you know, I thought it's 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 the only club I think that uh, Celtic was obviously. I think that's uh, probably his team or whatever. And so that was it was a move for him that uh, I didn't want to stop him doing. I think it's only a loan, and uh, I'd be surprised if it became a permanent move. You know, it's. It was only between now and the end of the season, uh, and I would think that might be as far as it goes. It's left us a bit short at the moment. I, not only did, uh, Robbie went, uh, Alan Hutton went. Alan was another lad who really needs to play. He's a, he's a top-class player. He wasn't getting in the side on a regular basis, and um, Sunderland have taken him on loan. But that's always a problem. I think when you've got when you've got top players who are used to playing and want to play international players, sometimes they're not going to play regular and. Uh, and it's hard to keep them all happy. Sometimes I think you can have too many players. You know, I, I, do, I must admit, sometimes it can be a problem. We fought with the lad from, from Portsmouth originally. He came here at a medical last uh, Friday and passed. Yeah, yeah, Begovic, Begovic yeah, passed, yeah. Yeah, did his medical, came with his agent and, uh, and suddenly disappeared off to Stoke. But uh, that's, that's how it goes. You know, he decided to go to Stoke. So... Um, other than that, we really didn't get too close to, to doing anything. You know, I think we looked at one or two loan deals, but didn't, didn't manage to pull one off. I think it's, it's a bit of a farce. You know, I mean, yesterday suddenly everybody's dashing around. You know, there's trying it's excitement for the TV, probably excitement for the fans or whatever. You know, but uh, I think from a manager's point of view, it's become. I think we couldn't wait till five o'clock to arrive last night. The phone stops ringing and people stop. There it goes now. And people, <laughs> and people stop bothering you. You know, as I've said many times, ringing up with players that really are no use to you and, you know, trying to get contracts for people that you're really not interested in. So uh, I'm pleased it's finished again. Ida is just a fantastic footballer. You know, you, I watched him out there yesterday morning. He sees everything, sees all the pictures, knows where the ball's going before it arrives. He's got great awareness. Um, a real, a real player. So I'm delighted. He looks in good shape. He's going to have a game today. We've fixed up a, a friendly game today at uh, about half past one. We've got a game with Dagenham and Redbridge. John Steele's brought a team over, so we're going to play still his team and uh, Ida will play. Uh, Eunice will play. I know Eunice anyway. I think Eunice has got the potential to become a top player. I think he, he could make the French World Cup squad. Uh, I think his concentration levels are much better than they were 18 months ago when I first took him to Portsmouth. Um, again, I think he'll do a terrific job for us. It'll be a tough game tomorrow for sure. There'll be uh, there'll be difficult opposition. They, they, they're a good side and they played ever so well at uh, White Hart Lane, even though we should have should have won the game. But you know, they're, they're a team I think way above the, the level they're playing in. They're, they've got good players, and it will be a tough game. But we're playing well. I think we've had one defeat in. I don't know, 11 games or whatever, so we're in good shape. Nothing is ever more intimidating going there when Norman Hunter was playing with Billy Bremner and Jack, Jack Chalt and Johnny Giles. I mean, that that was for me one of the great football teams. Uh, we talk about the you know the great United teams, the great Liverpool teams, the great Arsenal teams. Um, I would put Leeds right up there with that team. Was right, they were the very best teams I've seen. Fantastic balance to it, and at everything.